but don't you Um, I mean, the title just is, I think, is reflective of just sort of, in general, not just in music, but in life, sort of, I guess, uh, feeling like a sense of urgency in whatever it is that you're doing, whether you're, you know, whether it's in your work or, or something you're passionate about or in your relationship or whatever it is, um, just really kind of seizing the moment um, when the moments come and, um, I think that that's kind of just a recurring theme um, in on on the album, if not now when, but it's also just a recurring theme, and I think throughout all of our you know lives in general, you know, to really kind of live in the moment and and grab a, grab a moment when it comes to you, being able to identify that. That's the I think that's the most difficult part, is you know sort of being able to put a finger on when when that when that moment actually pops up. You know, that's the hardest part, at least for me. What do you think, Jose? Yeah, and I, I sort of agree. Um, I think it's just, like Mike was saying, this just general theme that I think everyone sort of can relate to. Um, I know for myself, I sometimes procrastinate and you know don't do the things I should and be as spontaneous as I should. So this is just sort of a reminder to, to be able to do that. And I think, I think everyone's lives would be much richer if we were just to be spontaneous and just do the things we wanted to now, you know, as opposed to waiting or never doing it. So it was just, it seemed fitting. It seemed fitting for the time now, and I think for, for time to come, it'll, it'll make sense, you know? Um, it's just, it was, well, when we released this record, um, we did it in sort of this unique way where we sort of had this um, uh, almost like a 24-hour a um, live cast from, from a place in Hollywood. And each night, for six nights, we played a show. And it was a very um, intimate setting, and we played uh, sometimes whole records from top to bottom, or you know sometimes just a mix of everything. And it was such a fun, unique time and space where people came in. It was sort of like just a place where people hung out. Families were coming, dogs were running around, and there was canvases all over the wall, so pe people were painting, and it was just like this cool hang spot where we would play at the end of the day. So we wanted to, to sort of do something for our audience and for the fans who were part of that and for people who saw it and weren't able to be there. So each night will be recorded and released with part of that. Um, we have parts of the canvases that we drew on for those you know six or seven days being part of it. And um, there's just tons of video, um, tons of music, and it's just this big package that we thought would be really cool for our fans to have. And even for myself, it's just, you know, it's a moment in time, you know, that we've recorded and it's sort of like this physical thing we can listen to, touch, feel, see, and uh, it's going to be really, really cool. I'm excited for it. Pardon me while I burst. Pardon me while I burst. Decade ago, I never thought I would be at 23 on the verge of spontaneous compassion to the world with me. But I guess that it comes with a territory and a minus left. Yeah, the sound's always changing, um, and it will always continue to change. I mean, if you look at our records that we've made ever since, you know, 1995 was the first time we ever put out an album, um, they've changed a lot over those years, and, um, and you know, it, it continues to change. It's one of the things that I think our audience expects at this point, that every time we make an album, it's going to sound very different than the last one that we made. Um, and those departures are not any attempt to sort of um, uh, minimalize the importance of what we had done before. Because, um, you know, it's like all the music that we've made, all the records that we've put out, you know, like we've loved those records and we love making that music. Um, 
but it always ha we we always hope that it feels new. You know, it has to feel new to us somehow. Um, and sometimes we do things that are reminiscent of things that we've done in the past. Um, but we do that be because it feels good. <laughs> that's that's really the only reason why. There's no nothing more sort of complicated or sophisticated than that. Um, but we're always trying to make it feel new. You know, so that's why it always sounds a bit different. I think it's part of the reason why it's music is different from record to record is because we're changing as people. We just get older, um, you know, we become just a little wiser, a little better at what we do. We're just evolving as human beings, just like our music is evolving. So it will be different every time we sit down to make a record. I think, you know, we, we sort of set goals for ourselves when we make a record. So we sort of set a goal of going out for over a year and playing our new music to the world. So for us, coming to um, Europe a couple of times or go to the uh, South Pacific Rim and do a run down there a couple of times, tour the States a couple of times, it's for us. Time, huh? Yeah, come and get it. Um, <laughs> it's just you know, it's it's our goal to to play our new music and play our old music as well to fans of ours because this is you know it's our career. This is what we love to do and and yeah, it's this kind, this is the way we make our living. But also this is the way we spread our music around and we have lots of fans who come from all over the place to see us. And I I love playing music. I love playing shows. It's. It's tiring and when we're gone for a long time, you know, I miss home and it's, it's exhausting on us and the crew, but it's, it's definitely worth it and I still, I still love to do it after 20 years, yeah. Yeah, we're, we, um, there are a lot of places that we haven't played, even uh, like we never played Rome before, you know, this is the first time we've ever played here as well, like there's still a lot of places we've never played, so we wanted to, um, we wanted to, to kind of come back and play in some places that are new for us, you know, and like to come here and play in this beautiful castle. It's amazing, you know. Maybe maybe you guys think it's very normal, but for us it's very exotic. <laughs> you know, we don't really we don't really have venues like this in the United States, so this is a, a special for us. I mean, there are a lot of different uh, factors that go into determining what songs we play every night. Um, some of it has to do with um, stamina, like the pacing, um, like for Brandon's voice, for example, like there are some songs that are very difficult for him to sing, um, others that are difficult for other members of the band to play. So sometimes we try and make it so that we're going to be able to play the best that we can for the longest period of time. Um, and also we have a lot of music now at this point, you know, we have a lot of albums to cover and uh, we realize that our audience, you know, they might like our, our, you know, newest album or some of the songs on our newest album, but we know that they're also here to, to listen to the music that we've been making for many years. So we try and really put in a lot of different music from our different albums for, for the, just for the audience, you know, and it's fun for us too. We don't get sick of playing the songs. It's like people say like, oh, you must be so tired of playing the song Drive or wish you were here at this point. And like, I don't, really, I don't really get tired of playing those songs. It's fun, you know? It's an honor for us, you know, just to be able to play music and have, you know, an audience of, you know, thousands, tens of thousands of people singing the lyrics to the songs. It's crazy. It doesn't get old. Oh!